I'm Scott Crookshank from the Calgary Herald. We're here at the Flames' last practice in Calgary before departing to Anaheim for the, the start of the second round series. Um, as everyone knows, the city's having a lot of fun. The players are having fun, the fans too, uh, and even us reporters. Uh, it's, it's the most interesting time of year for us because each series uh, can stand alone with its storylines, subplots, twists, turns. Uh, we'll be talking about that Vancouver series for a long time, Furland's impact, Hiller's game. What I can remember even even uh, nine years later is the Flames series against Anaheim in 06. And from that game, from that series, I remember the Flames opening here with home ice advantage, Darren McCarty scoring in overtime. I can also remember Christian Husselius hitting I believe a crossbar in game six, which would have sent the Flames on to the second round against the Edmonton Oilers, which did not happen, of course. So fast forward here nine years, uh, and there's, as you can imagine, plenty of subplots and storylines now. One of the main ones, of course, which we've worn down to, to dust already, is the Jonas Hiller returning to Anaheim. Uh, he was not shy when he arrived in Calgary about talking about how disappointed he was about his departure from the Ducks, how unfairly he thought he was treated by the Ducks. So now here's his chance to beat them. Uh, he dearly wants to beat them, no question, but it's another thing to want it and to do it. So that'll be something to watch. And same with Michael Furland. He hasn't uh, uh, practiced all week, which is interesting and probably worrisome for Flames fans, but he had an impact in that Canucks series, which is undeniable. And can he do the same thing to the much bigger Ducks? Uh, they'll push back a lot. He'll get hit back a lot. And it's probably worth noting, he said the other day he's 210 pounds, which makes him about an average sized duck. So that'll be something to watch as well. Uh, also the Flames, very busy uh, defensemen, Russell, Weidman and Brody, uh, are they gonna wear down? Yeah, everyone assumed they'd wear down in the last quarter of the regular season with Giordano out and they didn't. Everyone assumed they'd wear down in the first series against the Canucks and they didn't. But now uh, second round, we'll, we'll see how much they have left in the tank. Uh, now probably uh, would be a good time to make a prediction. Uh, I will point out that I picked the Flames to win in seven in the first round, but I'll also admit that I picked the Winnipeg Jets to win the Stanley Cup. So, so knowing that, uh, I'm going to say Ducks in seven.